all right guys we are live guys welcome back pokemon fam and welcome back youtube fam i hope you're all doing well welcome back so in today's video guys i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys basically my tips and basically my experience of how to find a supplier that's going to supply you very um uh wholesale product and be able to flip it for a for a profit right uh and no you don't need a distributor and no i'm not saying go on tgd player and mass buy all the all the scarlet and violet you know sets that are getting demolished right now uh <laughs> no nah, i'm kidding well not really kidding it is getting demolished but that does not mean the sets suck in my opinion i really like scarlet and violet paul day evolved and obsidian obsidian flames was I thought Obsidian Flames was pretty good. Just a little too overprinted, right? Anyways, that's a, that's a different topic. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to obtain uh, sealed product, right, at a wholesale cost, and you're able to turn a profit off of it, right? So let me go ahead and share my experience really quick, guys. And let me just show you my screen as social proof. That way you guys know that I'm not lying and I'm not a fraud, unlike some people out there that are frauds out there. I'll make a video about that some other time, but... You know, his name start his name starts with Blake Blank. I'm gonna just leave it there. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a laughing stock at this point about that dude, right? So, anyways, um, here we go. I hope you guys can see my screen, right? See my screen. Uh, let me go ahead and there we go. Good deal. All right. So, as you guys can notice, right? These are pretty much my total sales, I would say, for the products that you see on the left side right here. Now, do you guys notice these products? These are all Japanese booster boxes, okay? So, as you guys can see, I've sold 24 in total of Pokemon V-Star Universe booster box. I've sold over 11, or over 10, obviously. This is 10, 11, obviously, with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Scarlet EX booster boxes. Uh, I did five on the Violet EX Japanese booster box, and... You can plug that in. This is the V-Star universe. So this is just my total sales from selling those throughout the time I've been doing this, right? So that's just social proof, just to show you guys proof that I have experience with this. So now let me put my screen back up to full screen really quick. Okay, so here we go. Um, So like I said, guys, uh, you, if you don't have a distributor, right? Getting distribution is extremely, extremely difficult. It's almost impossible if you have an online store uh, you're not gonna be able to get a distributor because they only want to work with brick and mortar stores. Now, in my opinion, in my honest opinion and, and speculation, this is not fact, but it's in the near future, I believe as we get more advanced, I think, uh, you know, distributors will change that. They'll eventually, uh, you know, start taking on more people that are online stores. And that's why I think starting a Pokemon business or any type of TCG business in general, starting it now is the best time because you want to be in position by the time you start now, let's say, and let's say in two, three, four years from now, you're in a great position to do a, you know, uh, sign your contract with your distributors. That's kind of like what I'm hoping for here in the next two, three years, hopefully. Uh, distribution will open up to online sellers. But anyways, you don't need a distributor, right? Okay, so the next best thing is have, having a supplier. And the thing that you want to go with when it comes to suppliers, you want to sell Japanese. Why do you want to sell Japanese? Because Japan, this is obviously very cheap in Japan. Okay. Now you're probably gonna tell me, well, how do I go to find a supplier, right? How do I go to find a reliable supplier? Uh, you know, you go on eBay, there's Japanese sellers that are selling it at MSRP, right? They're selling it at the actual market price of whatever set that's out right now, like 151 in Japanese, V Star Universe, EX, you know, the EX booster boxes and everything like that, right? So how do you go? To finding a supplier that will want to work with you and they're willing to give you wholesale i don't want to say discount but they'll just give you a very good deal if you're going to mass buy off of them like you know anywhere from 10 15 20 30 boxes off them at once so this is what i did okay so right around the beginning of the year 2023 i was still experimenting my theories and still Experiment, experimenting with my own theories. I'm still only a year and a half, like not even a year and a half, like a year in, guys. Still very new in all this, just like all you guys, right? And I'm not scared to test theories. I'm not scared, afraid. I'm not afraid to test different things that may work, that may not work. So I really wanted to have sealed product in my store. I really wanted it because I just know that like people want to open up sealed product, right? I know sealed product right now for Pokemon is not on fire right now. You know, the market's down for all these products. 
But at the time, back in January, it was like, you guys remember, like the, the Japanese boxes were just crazy popular, right? So I really want to hop on this wagon. And I was just thinking to myself, how can I get a hold of sealed product without having a distributor? Okay, so basically what I did was, I don't know if you guys know who Pokey Any is, right? Pokey Any kind of inspired me to start this whole entire Pokemon business. I found Pokey Any on like one of those episodes that Vice did. I don't know if you guys um, saw that episode where they did like a 20, 30 minute like day in the life of his life, of Pokey Any, right? Um, seems like a cool guy. Uh, he's located in the US, US seller. Um, and he has his own brand. Like he's very, very, very massive as, as far as his Pokemon business. And I took inspiration from that. And I remember taking inspiration from that from that from like two years ago, I think, like back in 2021 when Vice did an episode on him. And then fast forward to 2023, I wanted to, I just thought to myself, how do I get this product that he has? Right? Okay, so I took his advice. The first thing that he did, and this is this stuff's out here. You can go on his page, you can go on his YouTube, you can go on this this YouTube video right now. The first thing that he did was he went on TikTok and Instagram and just start looking for sellers that are in Japan, that are based in Japan. And in the process of doing that's what I did. I went on my Instagram, I, I typed in hashtag Japanese booster box, whatever, whatever hashtag, right? You know, Scarlet and Violet Japanese booster or Japanese Pokemon, whatever you want to put as your hashtag. I know Instagram and the uh, algorithm has kind of changed. You can't really look up hashtags anymore to find people. But that's what I did back in January or something like that beginning of the year. I did that. I found a lot of people, right? I found a lot of people. This is before the EX booster boxes dropped, um, like a week before the EX booster, bo uh, EX booster boxes dropped in Japan. So these things were very, very, very popular. People really wanted them really quick. So I went ahead and just scrolled through. So many Japanese sellers were selling this stuff um, at the time, and so many people were buying and stuff like that. There's so many brand. There's so many people that had their own stores in Japan on Instagram. Um, and I found a guy. I found a guy up there uh, and, and on Instagram. I found a guy. Um, he seemed pretty legit. And I took the risk of DMing him. I DMed him and I just said, hey, I'm interested in your Pokemon product. Um, I wanted to buy, you know, the new Scarlet and Violet uh, booster boxes. And I bought two of them. I bought the Violet and I bought the Scarlet. Now, I didn't know this guy, right? I didn't know this guy. I you know, he could have been a scammer. That's another thing you have to look for, you have to look out for, is that there are scammers. There's a lot of scams in Japanese, unfortunately. But I was willing to take the risk, right? So at first, when I approached this guy, I just wanted to test whether or not his boxes were legit, right? So I only, I think I spent like $200, like between the Violet box and the Scarlet box. If he was a scammer, right? In my mind, I'm thinking my back of my mind, 200 bucks is not gonna break me, right? But if he was a scammer, I get gypped, whatever. I lost 200 bucks, move on, right? I took the risk. I spent the 200 bucks. I bought two boxes off him. I wanted to see if he was legit. Because I liked his presentation. I liked the way he presented himself. Very polite. And he was very, very nice. And I just liked the way his store was. There's so many sellers, but I did not know, you know, the one, you know, him basically being very, very nice and going out of his way to do like a lot of things for me in the, in the beginning really sealed the deal for me to, test this guy out so anyways sends the booster boxes to me from japan i get the boxes within like a week right they come in you know they come in i get the package i open it up and what do you know they are legit boxes they were legit so i was happy and relieved that this guy was not a scammer he had a legit pokemon you know selling you know actual sealed product from japan and i was relieved cool so i basically sold those booster boxes I sold those booster boxes and I flipped them and I made a profit off those two booster boxes, right? And made some pretty decent profit. I made about like, you know, I think 12%, something like that, 11%, some, something very small because sealed product, you're not going to gain that much. You're not going to gain a 20%, 25%. Sealed product, you're going to get a steady anywhere from 10 to 12%. It's pretty small, but if you're selling ma mass amounts of volume, it adds up over time. So I sold those booster boxes, got a decent profit off of it. Then I hit him back up and I said, hey, man, to tell you the truth. I'm a Pokemon seller in the U.S. I have my own eBay, uh, you know, my own eBay store. I was hoping that maybe you'd be interested in, um, you know, starting a business relationship where I can start buying, you know, mass amounts of product off of you. If you're willing to do like a, you know, a little bit of a discount for me, that way my profits are a little bit bigger, right? He's getting, you know, 
you gotta understand what about these Japanese sellers, guys, is that these guys get this stuff in Japan very cheap. So these guys are making their profits when they're selling it back and they're selling it all over the world and they get you know people to buy them off of them. These guys are making lots. And so us as the US sellers trying to resell the Japanese in America, we're not making that much, but it's better than not having a sealed product at all in your store, just in my opinion. So anyways, back to the story. I basically said that I just proposed to him the, the business relationship. And at first I'm like, okay, well, hopefully he probably doesn't want to do it because why the hell would he want to work with me? I'm just, I'm a nobody at that time. I had, I had, I had like literally like no social proof to show him that, you know, I am a legitimate seller and I, I'm a good seller. I had no social proof at the time. I was very new on eBay. Luckily he said, yeah, he said, yeah. Um, he said, yes. And we formed not, you know, ever since then, you know, I've been with this guy for over almost a year. And, you know, not only have we built a business relationship, but I, you know, I definitely would say that this, this, my guy is my friend. I, he's a, he's a friend of mine. Um, he's awesome. He lives in Japan. He's on the ground in Japan. Uh, I haven't spoke to him in a couple months, but you know, it's just been like kind of just busy with my end and stuff. And he's been busy on his end, but I regard him as a friend. He's a very good guy. Um, and everything like that. And that's the beauty of when you're doing business relationships, you know, when you have suppliers, guys, you hold on to your suppliers, treat them as your friend, be polite to them. Do not do not ever treat your suppliers like dirt because at the end of the day, it's a mutual business relationship and you want to treat them with respect, kindness, and because you're scratching their back, they're scratching yours. At the end of the day, you know, you want to treat them with respect because you don't want to treat them like dirt. Anyways, so that's what I did. Now, for, fast forward to now, times have changed because now it's harder to find a supplier. Uh, like I said, the Instagram, the Instagram algorithm has changed. So it's really hard to hashtag Japanese Pokemon and find sellers. I don't think it works that like, like that anymore. Um, but give it a try. I don't know. Uh, you can also try TikTok. There's always sellers on TikTok that are from Japan, based in Japan. Um, my advice to you guys is just be very careful of who you select. Be very careful who you come in contact with. Because like I said, I got very lucky. I got extremely lucky. This guy could have been a scammer. He could have took my 200 bucks and ha ha, bye, ha, loser, ha, scammed you. I'm sending you fake Pokemon cards, whatever, right? Um, so you have to do your due diligence and just take, It's at the end of the day, you have to take a risk. That's basically what I did. I wanted to spend a you know, couple hundred dollars at first. I was not going to you know spend you know a big portion of my business money to this guy because I didn't know this guy, right? I was willing to take the risk on $200 and lose the $200 and just have peace of mind whether he was legit or not right that's how i approached it and that's probably like how you guys need to approach it too because you don't know if they're scammers so i would only probably for you guys if you guys end up do finding a finding a guy out there you guys should probably only buy like a booster box off of them buy like i don't know whatever they have v star ex booster boxes um whatever they have right just buy one box and open it for yourself and just see if it's legit if they sent you a legitimate box, I would trust that person. I would trust that seller. And when you go approach them, be very kind, be very respectful, be professional, um, and don't come off as needy. Do not be needy. Do not be rude, right? Um, and do not, and this is the biggest one, guys. Do not, if they say yes to a bit to whatever business, whatever business relationship they want to do with you, do not try to steep the price lower than what they're offering because they're not going to listen to you. And it's very disrespectful to kind of steep the price lower than what they offer you, right? So <clears throat> coming into this, right, I built my relationship with this, with this, uh, with my, with my guy. You know, now he's able to give me something that's a little lower than what was previously lower back in the day, which was like back in January, right? But I built that relationship. I was willing to take lower profits in the beginning to build my relationship with this, this, this person, with this individual. For them to trust me, I trust them, and we formed a bond, and now we're friends. And so, you know, he's willing to work me work with me a little bit on the price prices on some of these booster boxes um, that are released in Japan, and eventually Americans are going to want that sealed product, right? Especially when it's like new boxes that are coming out, like a new set. So that's my advice as far as like the whole process of everything. Just be very wary who you pick. You know, buy a little bit off of them to see if their product is legit could be a risk. You may lose the money. Okay. You may lose the money. They may scam you, right? Go through PayPal. In my opinion, you should go through PayPal services or goods and services. Okay. Because when you do that, if they are fraudulent, right? 
if the person uh, ends up scamming you, you can file a, um, a claim with PayPal that your item does not match what, of what you actually purchased, right? So go through PayPal, it's exactly what I did, so I can have insurance, that way, if this dude was gonna scam me, I can go through PayPal, and most likely people, have, PayPal will be able to reimburse me my money, and ban this guy or something like that, or off their PayPal and stuff like that. So um, that's what I would do. Uh, do that, you know, if you guys, basically, this is the best, this is the second best thing Obviously, the first thing is being a distributor, but this is the second best is find a supplier. Find a supplier who's willing to give you cheap seal product. Not cheap, but affordable prices on seal product that where you can make a decent profit margin. Now, times have changed, right? Like I said, it's harder to find a supplier now, okay? The second thing that's harder now is that recently, Japan has new shipping, um, has like a new sophisticated shipping um, service now, which is FedEx. They were not FedEx when I first found this guy and when I first, when it was like that, when I first found my guy, it wasn't FedEx. Japan had their own services they were going through, which took longer for the product to arrive in America. But now Japan is doing FedEx now. Um, now Japan uh, Japanese sellers use FedEx International. <clears throat> and with FedEx International, the product gets delivered to the person that's ordering from overseas. It gets to their doorstep very quick. I'm talking about it gets from Japan to like, let's say in the UK, right? From Japan to the UK, you're going to get your product within like three or four days using FedEx International. Whereas back in the day, it would take about like a month, right? It would take a month to receive that product. So in America, you probably take like three weeks to get that product, right? Not no more. It's four days now. Three to four days, you would receive that product from Japan to US or UK now. Um, that really changed the game for me, uh, you know, as me as a seller, because now I have way more competition. What stood out for me as a U.S. seller was that I had the product on hand in America. If someone ordered a sealed booster box, Japanese sealed booster box from me, it would arrive at their doorstep in a few days. Whereas if they ordered from Japan back in the day, it would take three weeks. That's not the case anymore. Now people can order from those Japanese sellers and it could take them three or four days to get that same product. So US, U.S. sellers don't really stick out anymore on eBay when you're selling this stuff. It does not stick out. So <clears throat> I don't know if the eBay thing still works. I have an, I still have some sealed product of my Japanese booster boxes. Um, but the sealed product has not been my my uh, front runner as of late. Just because I'm just kind of just like, eh, it is what it is. I'm not really trying to push that anymore as far as sealed product of the Japanese stuff. But um, yeah times have changed um so keep that in mind guys um it's a little harder now to make a profit i would say on the seal product and if you are making a profit it's probably gonna be pretty you know it's not gonna be as much as like someone like me who it was like 10 12 percent you got the finest supplier who's willing to work with you and in the beginning they may not they may even tell you that they'll only give you like three dollars off on each box or five dollars off on each box so you got to build a relationship at first. I know it takes a lot of work, but that's the point of running a business. You got to do the work. You got to do the stuff that you're, that you don't want to do to be successful in the long term. So, um, that's my advice. Um, as far as like sealed product for me, as far as like having my supplier, my sealed product, my Japanese stuff, I definitely might have to just continue to build my YouTube and my, build my brand. If people are interested, I might make a Patreon, um, a Patreon for people that are interested in Japanese product and give you guys a very good discount on Japanese product. Um, you know, I can't give it to you guys at like, you know, Japanese prices because it's gonna be a lot cheaper than my stuff. But right now, like for example, I'm selling my Violet EX Japanese booster boxes I still have on hand. Those are going for 120 bucks right now on my eBay. I'm selling them for 120 bucks. The reason why they're $120 is because you gotta factor in the fees. The fees, fees, fees are fees. You know, you're gonna be paying a lot of fees at the end of the day for all stuff that you sell on, on uh, eBay. So. Yeah, I have to put it up for 120 bucks to make a decent profit uh, for my booster boxes, right? For at least for Violet, right? Violet EX booster box. Um, you know, if I'm doing this with like just PayPal, you know, uh, PayPal, uh, what is it called? Uh, I can't even think of it. Um, go through, going through PayPal, right? Uh, <clears throat> I would only do like, I would go from 120 to like 105, to be honest with you, because. 15 bucks cheaper. I'm only paying the fee for uh, like a 3% fee on uh, on PayPal. And then like, you know, however much money it's going to cost for shipping. Uh, 
right? So you guys see how like I just basically just, you know, basically you guys see how I kind of just, um, what's the word? I can't think today, guys. <laughs> how I basically formatted that for you guys that you got you to hike your prices up a little bit more on eBay just because of the fees and stuff like that. You want to not lose money. That's not the goal. You don't want to lose money on this stuff. So, um, yeah. Whereas if I was selling off eBay, away from eBay, I would price my e my Violet EX boxes for 105, right? 105. That would be my price. So <clears throat> that's something that I would I would have to consider going forward because I don't I don't really don't care to sell these, these booster boxes anymore on eBay just because the the fees are hefty, I won't lie. And it's just very hard to find a supplier now. Um you know, you can do your best to find a supplier that's willing to work with you, that's willing to give you a good price on them. And yeah, so it just takes time, guys. Uh, just do the work. Uh, this is basically I'm just sharing sharing with you guys what I did, and what made me, you know, miners, you know, being, uh, I guess, decently successful at this. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. I can't talk today. I'm like really tired, guys. It's been a long day. Been been up since 5 a.m. So, anyways, um, if you guys found value in this video, please subscribe. Please like this video. Um, I'm almost at 500 subscribers. That's awesome. I really appreciate the support and. If you guys found value in this video, please give me a like, give me a sub, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and see you guys later. Have a good one.